we were standing right here. When you pointed a gun in my face. Something that I never expected, ever. I would have let you kill me rather than fight back. I want you to know that. All we've had is each other for a long time. While y'all were in prison, so many things changed. The whole landscape is different. I don't need to tell you that. You hear, you see for yourself. But how I feel about my family never changed. When you were inside, the family kept growing. It used to be just us. Those of us in Thieves Landing. Pip became a part of my family. Baz became a part of my family. And so did Riggs. But Riggs fucking squandered it. Riggs spitted it. She fucked everything up, Jack. I care about Pip. I care about Baz. I care about you, Jack. And you might not fucking... And I might have fucked up, Jack. But Riggs... I cannot tolerate her. Being out here... Being with us... The selfish fucking decisions that she made... She's the one that killed Baz, Jack. She's just as culpable, just as fucking guilty as the sheriffs. When she turned herself in, there was no more, more vocal about it towards Baz than myself. Not Pip, not Mills, not even yourself. It was me. Around. And we came to blows a few times, me and Baz. The other day you said that we forgot about you. You and Mills been on my mind every fucking day while, while you and I were locked away. Every day. Everything I was doing out here, I was building it. So that when you came out, we had an empire. But everything changed. It all changed at the last minute. Because whatever love I had for you, I had the same for Baz. You have Caniclo, Mills, Pip, Clyde Davis, all of them. You can build yourself back up. All of us can. We've done it over and over and over again. What am I supposed to do about the widow or the brother that I lost? Knowing how much she meant to him. Only understanding after what I read that he left her in the will. His words. He left her nothing, Jack. He left her nothing and he did it for a reason. He knew. She's going to be just fine out there on her own. She can go live with he Danny. He knew she was the one that killed him. That's why he didn't leave anything, right? He just left her a letter. Whatever he left her is none of your business. Tell me Say what would make you happy. Right. You, what will make you happy? You don't want me giving the diamonds to her so she can look after herself? Make sure she's taken care of? What would make you happy? You want her to be alone? Everybody turn her back on her? You want her to she get eaten by the wolves? She can go live with Danny. She can live and sell cream for the rest of her life. She wants to do that. Obviously, she don't have the heart that it takes to be a part of this. A part of what? A part of this family. 
We're too fucking bullheaded, Jack. All of us is. We're too stubborn. We don't go down without a fight. She... She wants to turn herself in because all of a sudden she has a conscience. All of How a do sudden, you know why she turned herself in? Has anybody asked her why she turned herself in? I don't need to ask her, Jack. No, as a matter of fact, you do because you're making a lot of fucking assumptions. A lot, motherfucker. You think any of us would have rolled over? No. You think Pip would have squealed? Pip wouldn't have squealed. You think I would have squealed? Nicolo wouldn't have squealed. You wouldn't have squealed. Mills I wouldn't, wouldn't have, have squealed. I wouldn't have squealed. Well, I wouldn't have come out here expecting a fucking reward. I don't her want a fucking reward. Dead. That ain't enough of I don't a want a fucking her. reward. You want her to suffer more and more? She's doing almost as much time as you're doing. Maybe there's something that you don't know. What don't I know, Jack? Tell me. And, and as far as what Baz left her, he left her me and his family to look after her. That's what he left her. Left her me to have her back. Just like I would have your back. By the way, she's gonna do it again, Jack. Do what again? Fuck everything up. She might even get you killed this time. And I care about y'all too much to let that happen. That's right, you showed it yesterday. I was planning on never fucking talking to you again. But I thought real hard. About the counsel that my brother once gave me. Saying that it's family before everything, even before code. You understand? Even before code. And it was against my code to ever fucking look at you again. But you're my family. He also taught me that. You don't fight because you hate the person in front of you. With the people behind you that you love and that you're ready to suffer for. What do I have to show for anything we've done over these years? Have I ever kept a cent to myself? A fucking single cent? I haven't even spent one of the diamonds that's in my possession. Not one. Because that wasn't for me, it was for all of y'all. I think about all the suffering that you've done for all of us. You're getting so caught up on this rigs and about a wheel and who's leaving who what. You don't like her, so be it. Leave her be. I want to leave her be. But I want to make sure she ain't rewarded for killing Baz. She can leave be. She can live with Danny. She can sell cream. All of a sudden, you care that much about Baz, huh? You care so care much about, about it, but you want to turn on his I fucking woman. I care about Baz. I care about Mills. I care about Pip. I care about Caniclo. I care about you, Jack. And I know that woman ain't nothing but trouble. And if you don't get rid of her, if you don't leave her with Danny, she's just going to get all of us hurt. She's going to get all of us killed. Do you know that we killed Braithwaite? I heard he died, didn't know how he did it. That's right, we set him up. For 10 of the rarest diamonds in the whole fucking crossing. 10 worth more than three of our inventory put together times 20. That was the price. When we killed her husband, Bass came to me one day and asked for those diamonds said he was gonna give them to the widow. Effie. I kicked, I screamed, I insulted him, I threatened to fucking kill Effie over it. But at the end of the day, I let him have it because it was in his heart, that's what he wanted. 
I didn't point a gun in his fucking face. Say, I fell in love with somebody one day. And she was my everything. And I ended up dying. What do I got to do? I got to worry about her not being taken care of by you? You not having her back unconditionally like I would? She hurt you. Hurt you my fucking ass. We're all hurting. We're out here running and gunning every fucking day. Killing folk. Stabbing folk. What you think was going to happen? What I think was going to happen? I figured that we'd die to some fucking gunslinger. Not to some woman with a conscience all of a sudden. That's what I thought. Tell me what would make you happy. I what do you want to... What do you want? What do you want to happen to Riggs? You want me to turn my back on her? That's what'll make you happy? I want nothing to do with that woman. When she comes out of prison, I'm going to be there for her. And I'm going to make sure she's taken care of. When she has the diamonds, she can do whatever the fuck she wants with them. She can give them to you, the mills, I don't give a damn. She can pour them in the river, but she'll make that choice. Jack. I expect I expected y'all to have my back on this. Looks like I was wrong. Jack. When she hurts you, when she gets you some fucking deep trouble, when she does something that fucks everything up, I will be there for you. Not her, for you. I want you to know that. But I think we're too fucking stubborn. To budge a single inch on everything else. I ain't budging off of what's right. And you're right. Right now you're wrong. And I'm telling you so. I'm right, Jack. You're wrong but on you're this. you're blinded, Jack. You're blinded, Jack. I know you what? care about... I know you care about Baz. But Riggs ain't Baz. Riggs fucked over Baz. She fucked over Baz. She fucked over Mills. She fucked over me. She's going to do it again. She's going to cause me pain. When the fuck have I given two shits about pain? When have you? When has Kay ever? When has Mills? I've, I've learned a lot since you've been in prison. I've had to grow. I used to believe in code and only code. When we were warring with Summers, how many people died in the, on the fucking sides? How much collateral damage was there? I told all of those people. I told them if they ever come for me, I won't budge a single inch even if they kill all of y'all. I said that to Slim, I said that to Rory, to Peter, to all of them. I'm not that person no more. Family means something more to me now. It's more than just a code. If she's gonna fuck up, then I'll be there to help her not fuck up. Whatever Baz was, he wouldn't have been that person without her. 
And I'll honor that legacy to the fucking death. And if you can't see that, then I can't fucking help you. But you're not riding against her or hurting her, period. Nobody is. When she gets out, I'll find out why she turned herself in. Until then, I don't want no one besmirching her. Just like I wouldn't tolerate anybody besmirching you. I know you're in pain. I know you're angry. Like I said, when you, when she turned herself in, listen, Mills was quiet about it. You can ask him. Bip was quiet about it. You can ask him. It was me speaking up for you, man, but he's dead. And she's suffering right now 10 times more than all of us. It's just like they were torturing you. They're torturing her now. And when she comes out, she's got nobody. I'm not leaving her out to dry. I'm not doing that. No one's going to hurt her or besmirch her. No one. Not even you, Clay. Jack, you was saying a second ago. When did any of us care about pain? And that's right. I've been shot before. I've been stabbed. I've been beaten. I've been blooded. I've been bruised. None of that has hurt me. I got up every single time and kept riding, kept going. A couple nights ago, Jack, the day before the funeral, you remember that fella from Armadillo? Danny? Danny Copper? Yeah, I remember him. I didn't know him, but I know you did. He was a friend of mine growing up down in Armadillo, right? And the fella, he telegrams me, tells me he's real sick. I come visit him, he's gasping for air, he can barely breathe. He was skin and bones. I could see his ribs. I could see the skull underneath his face and, and... And his fella... He said to me, he said... Clayton, I don't want to die sick in a bed. I don't want to die sick in a bed. So, please take 20 paces with me. And I realized, Jack, That in the end, I wasn't there for that fella. For all those years, and all that time, and all I could do for him. All I could do for him was to put him away. And that type of pain, Jack, that's different than stabbing, shooting, getting shot, 
getting beat. I don't care if any of that happens to me, Jack. But I want none of that happening to any of my boys, Jack. I failed with Danny. I don't want to fail with Caniclo. I don't want to fail with Mills and with Pip and with you, Jack. I care about pain, but it's not my pain, it's y'all's pain. And this woman, I think she's gonna be nothing but pain, Jack. I won't ride after her. I'll wait till she comes out, I'll wait till you get your word with her. But I don't think she deserves that reward, Jack. And I have nothing else to say. Nothing else to... to say, Jack. I love you, brother. But I'm gonna walk away. If you need anything, Jack, if you need anything at all, me and Caniglo, we're gonna start making moves with Thieves Landing. We wanna build a community. We wanna build something for ourselves to keep everyone safe, to keep everyone protected. If you ever need help, come down to Thieves Landing. If you ever need anything, come down to Thieves Landing. Anything at all, guns, money, but I'm not sure what else I can say. Goodbye, Jack. Thank you.